Immunotherapy would not exist without Steve Rosenberg. I first met Steve uh, in 1985. Those days, there were very few of us who had an interest in immunotherapy. He's passionate about using the immune system to fight cancer, and that was way be uh, before its time. Dr. Hammer and I had heard about the amazing research that he was doing, so we went to his lab in Washington, and he told us about his idea about how the immune system, in particular interleukin-2, was going to help fight cancer. I was originally diagnosed with breast cancer in 2003. I had a mastectomy, I went back to work, I never thought about it again. Ten years later, I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, so now it was real. Got my dream job going to Guam, and I'd only been there for about three weeks. Uh, the melanoma came back in full force. It changed everything. Uh, uh, the world as I knew it had now ended. I was starting to become ill. The cancer spread to my liver, and I think I probably had just a few months of life left, and I had come to accept that that was what was going to happen. They felt that there wasn't anything that they could do. There was no surgery that they could perform, no conventional uh, programs that would help me. Fortunately, uh, the folks in Maryland uh, told me about Dr. Rosenberg's program. He walked through, very straightforward, he says, hey, um, we're starting up this program, uh, we have not had much success, and I would like to be a little bit more aggressive if you go into this program. Start out okay, uh, then it started getting really rough. They resected a tumor in August and grew my T cells over the fall, and then in December, I received an, an IV bag full of 81 billion of my own T cells that recognized the uh, mutations in my cancer. At first, I didn't get too hopeful because I had also been hit with a lot of high dose chemotherapy as part of the pretreatment for this trial. But within about two weeks, that tumor had completely dissolved and I knew that wasn't the chemotherapy. I knew it was working. So I came back the following month and uh, uh, they started disappearing. And, and then they were gone. Steve is one of those rare individuals whose impact on our world is so profound. He never lost faith, and he kept working. He really cares about every patient that he treats. They're not just numbers to him. It's all about transforming the field towards helping patients. If you notice, I'm dressed like I always remember Steve would dress. No jacket, a blue shirt, sleeves rolled up and ready to tackle cancer. Number one, a true leader. Scientific discipline, second to none. Dear Steve, congratulations on receiving the Friends of Cancer Research Leadership Award. Nobody deserves this honor more than you. Congratulations, Steve. Well done. Congratulations, Steve. You have truly changed the world. And I couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you for everything. <laughs>